So, do you guys got any ideas for uh, an open? I got nothing. You do? Uh, no. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, I, I got some uh, brainstorming uh, tactics that we can use. Oh, sounds good to me. Alright. Any ideas now? Hey, sorry, you guys brainstorming? Yeah, we're, we're brainstorming. Okay. Any ideas now? Oh, whoa, whoa. Why are we in a frame? Why are we in a picture frame? Any ideas now? Whoa, what the heck? Oh! Oh! Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, August 28th. I'm Clark Thornberry. And I'm Haley Stewart, and here's what's going on at BHS. Congratulations to the seniors, Team 2024, who raised the most money last week and got to participate in a water balloon fight on Friday. And a big thank you to everyone in the corporation who donated to help Chainlink surpass their goal of $23,000. On Friday night, it was announced that BCSC will donate over $27,000 to Riley Children's Hospital. Thanks to everyone for helping to make Riley Week 2023 a big success. <laughs> Brownsburg High School's robotics team, Team 3176, is looking for new members. If you are interested in real-world experience with graphic design, managing a business, or STEM, the robotics team has opportunities for you. No experience required. They meet next on August 28th after school from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in room C1404. Go to their website at team3176.com for more information and the calendar past the 28th. They hope to see you there. Chess Club will be held each Friday in Mr. Dalsum's room, B2311, from 3 to 4.30 p.m. If you are interested in learning how to play, Mr. Dahlstrom will gladly teach you. Chess Club also hosts a variety of additional styles of chess. Doubles chess, called Bug House Chess, and a four-player chess on a big four-player board. They are also establishing a Chess.com Brownsburg Chess Club. Please come and check out all that Chess Club has to offer. Do you find yourself bursting with random knowledge? Do you like playing trivia games like Trivia Crack, Quiz Up, or Heads Up? If so, then check out Quiz Bowl. Quiz Bowl is an academic team in which students compete against other schools around the state. Quiz Bowl will be held every Tuesday and Thursday after school in B2305. Their first practice will be Thursday, August 24th. Come learn, laugh, and compete. Key Club will have their call-up meeting on Tuesday, August 29th. Key Club gets students involved in the school and the Brownsburg community. The meeting will take place at 7.15 a.m. in the LGI room. Any student is welcome, and any questions can be sent to Mrs. Holtman before the meeting. The next host of Future Health Professionals meeting is on Tuesday, August 29th at 3 p.m. in room C2403. Mum orders will be due at this meeting. Please note that the pickup date has been changed to September 19th at 5 p.m. If you're looking for any volunteer hours, the Brownsburg Marching Band can use your help. On Saturday, September 9th, Brownsburg High School will be hosting over 20 bands from around the state to compete and perform in our stadium. The band program can use volunteers for helping to guide these bands around campus that day. Volunteering for this event counts towards NHS hours and other service hours. You can find Mr. Catholic or Mr. Paulson in the band room to sign up or use the link below. If you sign up to volunteer, please attend the volunteer meeting on September 5th at 6.30 p.m. in the band room. DECA will hold a call-out meeting on Tuesday, August 29th. There will be one at 7.15 a.m. and another after school. They will take place in C1304 and is for both new and returning members. You only need to attend one of the meetings. See Mrs. Sablehouse or a DECA member with any questions. The Best Buddies Club will have a short call out meeting on Thursday, August 31st. It will take place after school until 3.15 and A1-316. You can also check Parent or Student Square for all the info. Mark your calendars. The Speech and Debate Team will be holding their call out meeting Thursday, August 31st in Miss Burnham's room, B2405, from 3 to 3.30. If you want to make new friends, show off your acting skills, make speeches about something you care about, and so much more, please join us. If you have any questions, ask the current members or see Ms. B. Women's Rights Club, a club made to advocate, promote, and learn about women's rights. Meetings will be on every other Wednesday in Mrs. Wiles' room, A2419 at 715, with donuts at every meeting. The first meeting of the school year will take place on Wednesday, September 6th. The BHS Palm Squad is now in its second year of performing at sporting events. BHS TV's Stella Waller is a member of the squad and is here with some more information on what they are all about. The Palm Squad has been hard at work preparing for the upcoming season. Let's go hear from some of the team. I'm excited because it's senior year and it's the last time I get to do it, so I feel like it's very special this year. And I'm just excited to be back at the games again. I'm excited to 
talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to at school and just make more connections. Palm Squad is a team of dancers wanting to represent BHS through dance. The Palm Squad will be performing at three home football games this year, September 15th, September 29th, and October 13th. They will also be part of this year's homecoming parade. My favorite part about coaching the Palms is bringing all of the dancers at the high school together and bringing more recognition to the um, dance community. I join Palm because practice is really fun and I like talking to my friends. Season, I'm most excited for, like I said, performing because I love performing and the football games are super fun because that's all those people and they really amp you up. I joined Palms because I wanted to be able to dance with my friends at school and I just thought it would be a fun experience. I'm most excited for this year because I get to coach instead of dance this year and I've never been able to do that so I'm excited to see what this year brings. My favorite part about Palm is performing at the football games and the basketball games because performing is truly something that I love to do. We can't wait to see the Palm Squad on the field this season. Stella Waller, VHS TV. Wow, thanks Stella. Can't wait to see the Palm Squad in action at some upcoming games. Now it's time for sports. Hey Anaya, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, it was an extremely busy week for the BHS athletes, and we finally got some break from the heat on Saturday. Let's get things started with the football team who hosted second Ray Cathedral on Friday night. On a night where BCSC raised over $27,000 for Riley's Children's Hospital, CF Warwick Stadium was packed and full of excitement. The dogs on the field had a great night on their way to a 45-31 victory over the Irish. On the dogs' first offense play, D Drake Dunn connected with Caden Olinger for an 80-yard touchdown pass. Dunn finished the night completing 11 of 15 passes for 258 yards and three touchdowns. He also ran for 62 yards and a touchdown. Olinger finished the game with 126 yards and two touchdowns. Corey Smith also had a nice night hauling four passes and 123 yards and a touchdown. On the ground, Garrett Sherwell was nearly unstoppable, carrying the ball 27 times for 185 yards and two touchdowns. The Dogs' defense made it tough for Cathedral to get much going. Griffin Simpson and Quentin Russ each had an interception. Arion Balance and Colin Kelly each had a sack. Nice job, guys. They will host Franklin Central this Friday night. The JV football team traveled to Cathedral on Saturday and came home with a 56-48 win. Joey Spagnolo had six catches and two touchdowns. Isaiah Billups had an interception and Jameer Pendleton had a fumble recovery. Nice job. The freshman team made a clean sweep over the Irish, earning a 26-18 win on Saturday. Jackson Pearson had an interception for the Dogs. Brandon Sharp had a 71 touchdown catch. Congrats, guys. Both the JV and freshmen will take on Franklin Central next weekend. Several of our soccer teams were in action on Saturday as well. The boys' varsity team hosted South Point in a very exciting match, finished 4-4 tie. Lawrence Ojaletti, Weston Bradley, Micah Eldridge, and Rudy David Martinez had the dogs' goals. The guys will travel to Franklin Central tomorrow. Good luck. The girls' JV White team hosted a tournament on Saturday in the first game they took on Frankfurt. They defeated the Hot Dogs 9-0. Reese McCrowski had a hat trick and an assist. Molly Sela Bonilla had two goals and an assist. Marin Steckel and Sofia Luendo had a shutout in goal. Congrats. In the championship, the Dogs took on Greencastle, and at the end of the regulation, it was tied 3-3. The Dogs went on to win 3-1 in penalty kicks. Alexis Harvey, Sophia Liendo, Reese Makrowski each had a goal. Marin Steckel had two P big PK saves. Avery Domagalic, Taylor Wiseman, and Sophia Liendo all had penalty kick mates. Good job, ladies. The volleyball team had a couple of matches on Saturday at BHS. First, the Dogs took on Northview, and after dropping the first set, went to win three straight to earn a victory. Abby Sullenberger had a career-high 11 kills and four blocks. Asa Thomas led the team with 21 digs and 37 assists. In their second match, the Dogs came short to Benton Central. Kira Fitz led the team with 12 kills and had a career-high of 13 digs. London Smith had a nice match with 9 kills and 3 blocks. The JV team earned a 2-0 victory over Northview in the first match. Eliza Laughling had eight kills and five aces. Maddie Dalton had five kills and a block. In the second match, Benton Central was too much for the Dogs to handle. Becca Rogers had 11 assists and three digs, and Lanaya Joaquin had four kills. Both the JV and Varsity will host Mount Vernon tomorrow. Good luck. If you can't make it to the Varsity Fieldhouse, you can join us live on bcsc.tv for all the action. We will be airing starting with the JV match at 6, 
and varsity will follow. We hope you will join us online, either live or on demand later. The boys' tennis team was at John Shirley Invitational on Saturday and finished eighth place. Hank Giles got a big win over conference foe, Fishers, at number two singles. Dylan Price got a win over Homestead, and Bryce Garland finished his day with a win over Park Tudor. Nice job, guys. The guys will travel to Noblesville tomorrow. Good luck. The girls' golf team finished 12th and 5th at their tournaments on Saturday, and the girls' cross-country team was 3rd, and the boys won at Avon Saturday. Good luck to the girls' soccer team who hosts Harrison for the pack of the house tonight. That's it for sports. Back over to you. Thanks, Anaya. That's all we've got for today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.